Good morning, guys. One last time from the Sheraton Vistana Vista Villages. Uh, yeah, I'm going home today. In fact, I already made two trips out of the car. I got one left. So I'm going to be out of here. And you should come join me, won't you? Now, I'm not doing an actual room tour because I've already toured these rooms multiple times, and you can check my videos for this, but you know, quick look at the room. What I really want to go check out is one last view of the pool area. And then I'm headed home. I'm so excited. I so cannot wait to see Kristen Lincoln. I know it's only been a week, but man, have I missed them. One last look. I'm going to miss this too low. I mean, this is super, super relaxing, but I miss my family more. Okay, I think I got everything. At least I hope I got everything because I left the keys up in the room so they could get turned in. I am out of here. Uh, I'll be back home sometime tomorrow afternoon or evening. It's a long drive and I don't have my partner here, A, to keep me awake, which I'll be okay staying awake, and B, keep me entertained. It's going to be a boring drive. Yeah, it is, but we'll make the best out of it. At least it is a beautiful day to be driving. Absolutely beautiful. I've been on the road for three hours. Uh, as you see from that sign, just now leaving Florida. I did stop once to use the restroom, but it's been a really, really smooth drive home so far. I've really enjoyed it. Well, let's see. After this bridge, we should be in Georgia. Let's see if there's any big signs headed into Georgia. But yeah, isn't it just beautiful out? Like the clouds and the palm trees and absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's a sign over there. Welcome to Georgia, the Peach State. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna go another hour or so, get off and eat lunch. Uh, my goal is to go about nine hours today, nine, ten hours today, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Well guys, I've been on the road for about five hours now, getting ready to stop for lunch, getting a little hungry, but that sky up there, that does not look good. Uh, maybe we'll miss it? Hopefully we'll miss it? I don't know, that's some dark clouds up there, and it definitely looks like rain uh, right in front of us. Oh, that sucks because I really wanted to like pull off and go get lunch, but I'm not going to pull off if I'm going to have to like run through a range to, you know, a storm to get lunch. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I am in South Carolina right now, so yeah, uh, just a quick little update. Doesn't look like it's going to be a good next hour or so. Yeah, man, that's dark. And so it begins, and maybe it ends already? It looks like we're gonna catch the tail end of the storm. Uh, I don't know. Right now, this is mostly mist coming off the rest of the cars. It's lightning pretty good. I don't know if we caught that on camera or not. Traffic's slowing down quite a bit, and there are some big drops. Uh, why, why are you putting your blinkers on? Don't, don't drive with your blinkers on. It's the worst thing you can do is drive with your blinkers on. Jeez. But yeah, it's going to start coming down. Good times. Mmm, does that look good. I stopped off in Ridgeville, South Carolina to grab some lunch and get some gas. Went to uh, Wendy's here. Uh, South Carolina is where Bubbles997 lives. She's a uh, great supporter of the channel, so I want to shout her out because she's been loving these vacation videos. Uh, and she lives in South Carolina, so yeah, here I am in Ridgeville. Okay, also I stopped here because there, uh, right through those doors, is a Dairy Queen where I might get a uh, something for the road, possibly. Uh, and then get gas, like I said, at the Flying J, which is attached right here. So I'm going to eat up. Okay. That was delicious. Oh my gosh, that was delicious. I opted not to get Dairy Queen because I'm thinking I might go get something special tonight, uh, depending on where I stay, which I did figure out where exactly I'm staying. I just don't know like what's around there yet, if you know what I'm saying. 
got my gas. I think we're good to go. On uh, onward bound. I got about three and a half hours, so I'm gonna stop, and uh, that'll be my resting place for tonight. So let's go. North Carolina. Wow, their sign's kind of uh, like Ohio sign. Just hey, you're here, welcome to North Carolina. Uh, this will be the resting spot for me tonight. Uh, I got about an hour and 15 minutes to go before I get to rest, and then we'll uh, see what we do this evening. Probably eat and go to sleep. Well, I made it to my room at the Fairfield Inn in Elkin, North Carolina. This is a Junior King Suite. Looks very nice, very, very nice indeed. Uh, has a very nice TV, especially compared to the TVs that were at our other place. Uh, yeah, it is a nice room. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take a little bit of time, get settled in a little, just a little bit. Not much, cause it's already like six o'clock. I wanna go find dinner. I'm gonna come back here and just chill, uh, get a good night's sleep, get up, get breakfast tomorrow morning, cause it's on the house, and then hit the road. That way I should be back home uh, by evening time tomorrow, which is just perfect. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me just chill for a little bit and then uh, I'll see you at dinner. Well, I got cleaned up a little bit because trust me, the clothes I drive in, especially when I'm driving all day, like 10 hours straight, I don't want to go to a restaurant in. So I got myself cleaned up. Uh, I want to head down the road here for just a minute, well, maybe a minute, two minutes down the road. I want to check out this building because it looks like it's supposed to be a super cool building. It's not where I'm going to go eat, but I'm going to go check it out. Then I'm going to go the other way and get some wings. This place is called Pirate Landing. It's a restaurant and it just looks super sweet. Like I really, really like it. Uh, I'm not going there tonight. I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to come back here one night with Kristen and Lincoln. Uh, one day when we're either driving back to Florida or we're driving to Myrtle Beach or driving to Virginia Beach or driving somewhere. We're going to come back here and eat here because it looks super, super fun. Uh, just outside. The pictures on the inside look super fun too, but yeah. <laughs> I would never have known this was here if I didn't stop here to spend the night. Uh, this is one of those hidden gems you never would know about if you didn't know what was here. Okay, I'm actually going to run up the road the other direction now to uh, go get some wings. It's supposed to be a really good wing place up the road, so I'm going to try those tonight. So this place is just like a quick serve fast food chicken restaurant. They serve uh, tenders, wings, bonus wings. Uh, really fun looking inside. It's supposed to be really, really good. We'll find out here in a minute. But yeah, it's, it's cool in here. Now I was going to eat in there, but uh, I decided last second uh, with this cloud coming in, I look at the radar. It's supposed to rain here pretty heavy in the next 20 minutes. So I'm just going to go back to the room and eat my food there. Uh, avoid the rain. Yeah, you can tell it's raining in front of us because that rainbow right there. Uh, that's a sure sign that there's rain falling uh, right in front of us. So I think it was a good decision on my part to uh, head back to the room. Okay, Zaxby's. Where's the chicken? Like, I get it, they're boneless wings, but come on, these things are tiny. Not impressed. Although the sauce is good, their fries look good. But here's the deal you are right across the street from Chick fil A. If I had to choose between you and Chick fil A, I'd choose Chick fil A. Because this, this isn't worth what I paid for it. And I think I paid like $8 for 10 wings. Not worth it. Not when they're this small. Kind of disappointed. Boo. Also, I'm supposed to have cable. Uh, I think I'm supposed to have cable. But uh, for some reason, cable's not working. I don't know if it's because of the storm or what's going on. Uh, one good thing is they let you stream Netflix. Uh, you just have to sign in. Or you can stream YouTube as a guest right on the TV. So that uh, kind of makes up for no cable. But I'm going to eat my uh, chicken. I'll probably still be hungry. Luckily, I got snacks here. And uh, enjoy the evening watching YouTube, I guess. As you could tell from the light across the way, it is raining now and lightning pretty good. I mean, there's some impressive lightning out there, which sucks that it's raining because it looks like they have a pretty cool sitting area out there, out back, that I really wanted to go sit in. Uh, but yeah, I can't do that in the rain and the lightning. Uh, let's see if I can get some more lightning because it is impressive, super impressive lightning. Yeah, man, it just keeps flashing right and left. Uh, but it's not like raining super hard. 
you can probably tell in the light, it's just a lot of lightning. It's fun to watch more than anything. Also, the wings were just, eh, they're okay. Nothing to write home about. I probably would have preferred to go across the street to Chick-fil-A about their chicken sandwich. Uh, it would have been about the same price, and I would have enjoyed it probably better. Oh well, you have that. You know, you try new things, and some things are great, some things aren't. Okay, I'm going to go back over. Uh, I might actually go downstairs. I don't know yet. We'll go watch a storm from somewhere, and then uh, just chill the rest of the evening.